Hi, I'm Charlie Thorpe. I'm with Brood Management. I have grade 8 guitar. I also play harmonica, ukulele and mandolin. Um, and I'm going to be playing Mercutio and Romeo. Tis torture and not mercy. Heaven is here, where Juliet lives, and every cat and dog and little mouse, every unworthy thing, live here in heaven and may look on her. But Romeo may not. More validity, more honourable state, more courtship lives in carrion flies than in Romeo. They may seize on the white wonder of dear Juliet's hand and steal immortal blessings from her lips, who, even in pure festal modesty, still blush as thinking their own kisses sin. But Romeo may not. He's banished. Flies may do this, but I from this must fly. They are free men, but I am banished. And sayst thou yet that exile is not death? Hast thou no poison mixed? No sharp ground knife? No sudden mean of death, though ne'er so mean, but banish it to kill me. Banish it, friar! The damned use that word in hell. Howlings attend it. How hast thou the heart, being a divine, a ghostly confessor, a sin absolver, and my friend professed to mangle me with that word, banish it? Why? What is this Tybalt? He's more than a prince of cats, I can tell you. He fights as you sing prick song, keeps his time, distance and proportion, rests his minim rests, one, two, and the third, in your bosom, the very butcher of a silk button, a duelist, a duelist. <laughs> Ooh, he's a gentleman of the very first house, of the first and second cause. The immortal Posado, the Panto Reverso, oh, <laughs> the High. Ah, oh, pox of this antique lispin, affecting fantasticos. These new tuners of accents, there. Oh, by Hezu, a very good blade. <laughs> oh yes, he's a very tall man. <laughs> Yes, it's a very good whore. <laughs> Why, is this not a lamentable thing, grandsire, that we should be thus afflicted with these strange flies? These fashion mongers, these pardonamies. <laughs> uh, they stand so much on the new form that they cannot at ease on the old bench. <laughs> oh, oh my bones, my bones. <laughs>